Hi, welcome to Crystal's Artsy Creations. Today I am doing a snow bow. Isn't she gorgeous? I'm going to be showing you how I pieced together this little piece in the center, how I put the bows together, and how it gets fastened all to the back and onto the bow clip. I have made several, as you can see. I am wearing one. I have another one here. And I'm getting ready to make another one for a client. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Thank you. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be showing you how I put together this piece on the bow. So let's get started. First you take pretty little silver, see the buttonholes, and you just kind of thread your silver wire through. And down nice and tight. And you take your little guys. Aren't they cute? You kind of thread them through to kind of the little snowflake holes. And drop them on. Okay, make sure you don't put it on the same one. That's how we're gonna sew it. Now what you're gonna do here is you're gonna maneuver them around until they're kind of even. You've lined up their little holes so they're closer to each other. There you go. Now for the big guys. Same thing. Just kind of pick one of them, drop them on down, grab the other guy. Make sure you're putting it to where the flat side is facing up while you're doing this. Because when you turn it back side, right side up, now everything's going to be right side up. You take it, hold it tight, and twist. Just twist. It'll tighten itself down. It'll be perfect. If you want to secure it better, you can also add some hot glue, but I have not plugged in my hot glue gun for this right now, so I'm going to skip that step. There you have it. One snowflake middle. Yeah, I didn't like it too much. Okay, my phone decided that it was going to stop recording and then record again. How awesome is that? As you can see, I don't know how much of it it decided to record or not, but I am securing the bow ties. I've already done the stitches through, and now I'm just making sure that that string will stay there so it's secure and makes me feel more comfortable about selling it to somebody else knowing that it'll hold up and continue to work 
one then. Okay, so that's the base. another knot and now it's off to the glitter top bow and there we go there now we're moving on to this ribbon which is so sparkly so glittery looks like snow in this morning sun how it hits it and just kind of glistens that is why it's called the snow bow. So we kind of measure it out a little bit. How kind of big you want your bow part to be, plus its tail. Once I get more of a standard size, I will... This guy is about 28 inches long, the ribbon piece. I have not figured out how big this little guy is going to be. You can see this is the messy ribbon. Fold him this way. I'm walking around here. Come on, guys. Work with me. your tails to be on the inside of the bow. Okay. Now let's give her a measure so I know how big to do it so I don't have to do that again. Ta-da! You know, I'm learning as I go. But I had just have so many ideas and see so much stuff. And I'm like, oh, I can do that. Let's try it. Yeah, it was about 24 inches long. Okay. Check it out, and it's pretty. We're almost done, guys. And you can kind of loop her. And then you kind of can bend it through down so you can kind of fidget with the tails.
perfect. All right. Now that we've got it where you want it, we take our needle and thread. Careful not to stab yourself because you are working with a white ribbon and it will stain. It's going to be really bad. You will never get that red dot out. And it'll turn to a brown dot. I'll make sure not here without sewing with glitter. It makes your thread do some funky stuff. wide so you want to kind of secure it nice and secure so you secure your thread and secure and we'll just kind of clip it down and look here's the front part attaching the two bows together So that they don't move around when you make the little sparkly spot right here, the knot. That's what I was looking at for. And kind of line them up how you want them to look. Pieces are secure together. Let's tie off the string and then we'll get to the knot part. That piece is attached with the clip so that that is nice and secure in the center of your bow. Kind of tricky, but well worth the look afterwards. Perfect for the knot. Okay, we're going to kind of take them, do a little bit of maneuvering there. Take your sparkly ribbon. Do about an inch and a half to two inches. about two inches. Just 
give you a little bit of wiggle room on your bow. It still might even be too small. And I think it is. Yep, I think I need three inches of this nice sparkly ribbon. Do not listen to me. Just follow the results. Push everybody together. Press that there. That there. Open that bad guy. Pull that guy out. Lay it in the center. Take your two tail pieces, if you've already knotted your thread, as close to where your edge is as possible. Well, not that guy yet. Now you're going to do just a regular loop stitch on this part. You can also cross thread that through so it gives you more of a secure hole. Sorry guys, I'm left handed so I should probably change camera angles so you can see what I'm doing kind of hard on a white ribbon to see what I'm doing. So you will get more knowledge on this part when I do like my snowman bow or the you've been gnomed bow. This section will be a little bit more showy because white on white on silver just does not show up well on camera. This is where I went into hyperspeed because this is very tedious and kind of boring to watch. We just kind of go in and out, in and out, in and out in the little buttonhole and kind of boring. And there you have it, from start to finish, your very own snow bow. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Tell me what you think. Thank you, and have a wonderful day. Bye.